Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the Newton's three laws of motion. So basically, that's a basic topic and we need to understand that this is the basics of thermodynamics. So guys, recently, I'm going to start a thermodynamics playlist on my channel. So guys, please uh, subscribe to my education channel, Ingenious Academy and guys, uh, hit the bell icon, okay? And uh, guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with the basic chapter that is of the Newton's three laws of uh, motion. So guys, basically Newton is the scientist and he discovered the three laws by, you know, by doing some kind of research into the motion that is the motion of the particular objects and you know the forces applied on that particular object so that's why this particular three laws are termed as a newton's three laws of motion and forces so now let's talk about the first law of motion so basically over here if i'm having a body which is there at rest means body is not moving at all it is there at steady state and I am having another body which is there in motion. So Newton's first law states that that particular body will be, which is there in a, at a steady state wants to remain in that steady state unless an external force acts on that particular body and due to that external force your body undergoes into the moving condition. You know the state gets changed, the steady state becomes into moving state and on the other example that particular body which is there in a moving condition so that particular body wants to be in moving condition unless an external force acts on that particular body so the moving body wants to be there in uh, motion unless an external force acts on that body and uh, brings that body into your steady state so that is basically the newton's first law so suppose uh, you are there in car the car is in motion it is having a speed of uh, or else it is having a velocity and uh, your car is moving at a particular rate that is the, at, at a particular speed uh, so ultimately you are sitting in a car so that's why your body is there in motion also so when a driver suddenly hits the uh, brake pedal you know you just lean forward so that just happened because your body which is there in motion state the body wants to be in motion state so when a driver suddenly hits the brakes pedal, it means a uh, external force gets applied and that particular the motion of the car, you know, that reduces and uh, ultimately the car stops and you just lean forwards. So that is nothing but the your body wants to be in motion unless and until external force acts on your body. So that is uh, the that is called as the inertial inertial effects. You just lean forward. So that is called the inertial effects. And this particular Newton's first law can be termed as the first law of inertia, or else it is called as the law of inertia. So that is nothing but the Newton's first law of inertia. So now let's talk about the second law. Suppose uh, you are there in. Uh, suppose uh, you having a trolley. The trolley is empty, okay? The trolley is there in, uh, at rest. The trolley is not moving. It is not there in motion. It is at rest now. So when you apply a certain amount of the force on that trolley, then the trolley becomes in motion condition. So that is the second law. So, but now I'm giving you like this particular trolley is uh, empty it is not filled so that's why the force required to move that particular trolley is less as compared to the when the trolley is filled with the like the heavy objects it means you know the mass of that trolley increases the you know the total weight of the trolley increases so that's why the force will also you know you need more force to uh, move that particular trolley so this is the second law of uh, motion that is nothing but the you know the rate of change of momentum the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the force applied on that particular body so this is the second law of motion now the rate of change of momentum the rate of change of momentum is nothing but your rate of change in the velocity or as the rate of change in the speed of your particular objects now that particular object is there in steady states so that's why the rate of change 
will be on a higher side if that object is there in motion condition and you apply the force that means you require a less force to you know to increase the velocity of their body it means over here in the second case the rate of change of momentum will be less as compared to the first example so now over here the equation becomes your f that is nothing but the force applied is directly proportional to your rate of change of momentum so now over here the rate of change of momentum will be the your particular mass of the body the mass of the trolley and the acceleration the acceleration is nothing but your you know the acceleration is nothing but the speed or what is the it is the uh, like the ratio at which you know the object moves so it depends upon the uh, force is depends upon the mass into acceleration so that is the second law of motion which uh, which uh, deals with the particular object which is there in motion condition so that's why over here the equation is nothing but the f is equals to ma where f is the force m is the mass and a is the acceleration so guys now let's talk about the third law of uh, newton's third law that generally you know deals with your action and reaction so that's our basically our favorite law and you know in physics uh, like uh, this law is very much essential so that law is nothing but the you know in every action there is equal and opposite reaction basically so that is the last that is the third law of uh, motion that is the newton's third law of motion also guys this newton's third law it uh, works it uh, it uh, it's used in the rockets like there will be an equal and opposite force which is needed to move that rocket in a upward direction so that's why you know the action that is the moving forward and the reaction that is the acceleration due to the gravity so you know this particular newton's third law is uh, typically seen in rockets so guys over here in this video we have seen this three laws of motion that is nothing but the first law of the inertia we have seen the second law that is the uh, f is equals to ma that was the second law of motion and in the last law that deals with your action and reaction forces so guys thank you for watching my video i hope you understood this basic concept of this uh, laws of uh, motion so guys please do subscribe to my educational channel and just uh, in case of any comments if you if you want me to add any further points you can just comment below and guys please hit like your like will really motivates me to make more of such interesting facts and more of such interesting videos so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy